It makes me really proud when I see students come in through these doors and they have a vision in mind and I get to play a small part in helping them in that path. So I ended up majoring in chemical engineering at Purdue University from small town North Dakota. And you know, I think the, one of the defining moments in my path was uh, I was registering for classes and you couldn't sign up for your classes until you met with a faculty member and they would approve what you were registering for. And so I knocked on the door of Nicholas Pepys. And I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be there, wouldn't answer, <laughs> and that I could just slide my form under the door. But he said, come in. And I was um, really shy at the time, but he made me feel welcome. And he kind of planted the seed in my mind of doing research, of the opportunities of not just chemical engineering in the classroom, but what you could do more. Now, now, first of all, Christy was a phenomenal graduate student. She finished her PhD in 28 months, which is less than half of a normal amount. And she had published 10 scientific journal papers, which is more than twice the normal amount. She's been probably our most prolific faculty member and most distinguished faculty member, uh, literally and figuratively, uh, ever since. Christy is an unusual person in that she's trained in many different disciplines. We combine biology, material science, medicine, and engineering to say, how could we intervene? She's trying to do what we call regenerative medicine, um, and that has to do with replacing damaged cartilage or replacing a damaged heart valve. And what's unique about the work she does is, first of all, she makes the polymeric materials biodegradable so that over time the cells grow and the polymer goes away and then you have a pure tissue. But secondly, she puts in these, these special chemicals that um, cue those biological cells to develop into the right type of cells, like, you know, like muscle or skin or, or tissue, tissue for a heart valve. Christie's had an enormous impact on her, her, on, on her field. I mean, she's made pioneering contributions and new tissue creation and new photopolymerized materials. She's done all kinds of great work and is incredibly well respected. You can see that also from all the honors she's won. She's a member of all three academies, National Academy of Science, National Academy of Engineering, and then the Institute of Medicine. She's the youngest individual to be a member of all three of those societies. And she's also, I believe, the first engineer to become a Howard Hughes Fellow. Um, so, I mean, both scientifically and as well as how the world has recognized her. She's uh, just a, a superstar in every way. I think it's great to bring people together that think about problems differently. So I'll have biologists in the group, chemists, engineers, um, medical students, MD, PhDs. And we start to bring those together and the dynamics of how people think about problems and the different perspectives. It creates a real synergy. And, the, and I guess that's the kind of educator that I want to be, is um, someone that's not just a dynamic teacher in the classroom, but also someone that tries to take those one-on-one -on -one teachable moments where you could really impact somebody. She's touched a lot of lives with, with her teaching and her research. And I think that her research will absolutely have impact on human health. She's published over almost 300 journal papers and these are widely read and widely cited and has had a huge impact on the field. And uh, it's gonna change lives. One, she's an absolutely superb scientist who's made great contributions. And two, she's a great human being. The next generation of of chemical engineers who are doing biology, you know, are being shaped by people like Christy. I always kind of think back when some of those students knock at my door, <laughs> what I felt like when I was knocking at Nicholas Pepys' door <laughs> and being scared to death. So I always try to remind myself, no matter how busy I am or how harried or what deadline I'm trying to meet, 
that the person knocking at that door might be someone that I could make a big difference in their career.